So friends, let's start with the EC2 configurations. How we can configure an EC2? Uh, so uh, after login on uh, in AWS console, uh, click on the EC. Uh, go to the services, and uh, inside the compute tab, there is uh, an EC2 uh, icon. Uh, EC2 tab will be there. Click over it uh, now. When this uh, screen will be open. And here, click on the instances. Create. Uh, we just want to create a new cloud instance, and uh, click on the launch an instance. Right now, we are just configuring a new virtual machine over the cloud, and uh, the purpose of this uh, virtual machine is to uh, use for uh, our daily life purpose. Like uh, we just want to create a web server. We just want to uh, run any kind of the activity over the cloud. Uh, or this virtual machine we can do uh, with the help of this uh, Microsoft Server 2016. I'm just uh, selecting this image. Uh, right now, this is an instance type. What kind of the instance type the user want to select? So basically, instance type will instance type will be depending on the requirement. What is the user's requirement? And uh, uh, in case of the, if I'm right now we are using the free tier application. A free tier uh, account so in the free tier account uh, amazon by default provide 82 micro instance what is the meaning of the micro instance micro instance means uh, the cpu uh, the virtual cpu it is provided one the ram is 1 gb and after that uh, whatever the configurations they are providing they are little uh, they are limited configurations you if you just want to extend your configuration if you want to use uh, increase your cpu utilization uh, cpu not utilization if you want to increase the cpu up to the 100 you can do it you can just select the but uh, when you will select it uh, amazon will charges as per the uh, the standard <coughs> uh, it's a 0.023 and like this per per hour per hour charges will be calculated on the behalf of the uh, amazon calculator uh, okay. for that you can go uh, to the amazon site and uh, find the amazon calculator uh, you can find it now uh, as of now i'm just selecting it uh, uh, free tire uh, t2 micro and after that uh, move to the next one <coughs> here you can also select uh, uh, and uh, resize your instances but uh, i don't want to be resize anything so move to the storage how much storage users would user just want to be allocate your virtual machine so make it simple i'll just keep it as it is that is in the default settings uh, same i don't do any modification in the tag and uh, this is the final step where uh, we just uh, get the uh, configurations on which PCB ports we can add. Basically, this is uh, 3384 is for uh, MSTC. So, uh, this is default. We require the MSTC requirement. So, make it and uh, finally, the machine will be uh, machine is ready. Uh, it's saying key kindly review your <coughs> configuration that you have configured. Uh, so once just review the configuration and after click over the launch button uh, so this is the most important set step that we are just performing right now because without this step you cannot access the virtual uh, this virtual cloud this virtual cloud is the uh, uh, we are just going to create a private key. so uh, i am just using demo when machine I am just uh, uh, put the key fair name is like this. So it will saying you download the private file from which you want to uh, from you which you will connect with the cloud because on the behalf of this you can get the username and the password of your administration machine. So let me just click on the launch. Uh, it will instantiate. It will just start creating our virtu uh, virtual machine. Amazon will execute a background script to create a virtual machine. Uh, so, to performing and to creating all these steps, Amazon will take uh, uh, four to five minutes uh, in it. 
so uh, till in 4 to 5 minutes what we can do we can just uh, review our other steps other uh, other configuration part that uh, amazon will providing to us so uh, view to the instances uh, so this one is the running instance uh, that we are currently working on this while i am selecting it it will show me the instance name and the public dns of this instance from which i can access this instance okay that's fine uh, the next one is that this is the public ip this is the public ip okay this is the uh, this is the name of the instance what kind of instance we are using uh, this is the zone okay uh, so uh, let me just explain little bit little bit about the zones basically zone is the specific area or the specific region location where your cloud will be reside so as of now our cloud will be reside in us east 1c state so you can find it here uh, we are selecting by default this one now it's choice of the user on which cloud on which uh, specific area you just want to be selected so try to be read the amazon specifications where each data center has its own bandwidth and posting so by default we are working on the us east and uh, so that's why it's uh, showing the us test and this is nomenclature for it after that uh, we didn't change any security modification if you want you can do uh, these things will be modified when your virtual machine will be running for the long time so the security policies are very important for it and uh, the last one that uh, we need to discuss right now okay and now t2 is instance sub instance no okay, okay, okay that is the private ip if you have more than uh, multiple virtual machines and you just you don't want to be use the public ip so in that case you can use the internal uh, in, uh, internal ip and that can be used only when when your uh, when your virtual machine will be reside in the same specific region if your virtual machine will be working with a different specific region so you have to go with the help of the public ip only okay now the next step will be the status check status check will be the monitoring uh, monitoring purpose in the alarm configuration part uh, we will discuss about in a different uh, session uh, how to configure an alarm uh, what are the alarm strategies how we can create a strategy of the creation of the alarm we will discuss it about later uh, click on the monitoring tab monitoring tab is basically uh, the configuration where amazon will provide Amazon will provide Amazon will provide by default uh, this uh, configurations uh, this uh, monitoring tab uh, where the CPU utilization will be like this read uh, uh, how much uh, memory utilization the disk utilization will be uh, using so you can check uh, uh, the statistics and how much bandwidth uh, our virtual machine is using so loads of the uh, loads of the monitoring states in it so you can uh, find these So now we are ready to uh, start our virtual machine. The virtual machine is uh, uh, perfectly working right now. So I just clicking on this uh, connect get uh, get start and uh, this uh, demo. Uh, we'll just decrypt the password first. Uh, this one is the password uh, of our virtual machine. So let me just uh, uh, open this password. Uh, save this password and uh, we are able to and click on the this download the rdp uh, tab if you don't have click over it it will ask the password we'll just copy that password that we have uh, extracted uh, from this now we are able to uh, connect with our virtual machine
now with the help of this what we can do we are able to log in the cloud so let me just show you the screen of the cloud how the cloud screen will be look like okay it will just initializing the desktop for uh, the windows server 2016 now when the server will be available in front of us whatever we want to do configure in uh, this server we can do uh, there is uh, it's just like a normal uh, remote desktop okay and uh, this is the uh, session where we'll configure the ec2 instance and how to launch a uh, cloud uh, cloud of the ec2 instance for windows and uh, in next session we will discuss about it uh, more okay thanks for